morning. I am Ryan Butcher, the principal at Kennedy Elementary School, um, and I'm going to be doing uh, our summer reading program. Um, each day we're going to travel through the United States. We're going to try to go to all 50 states through award-winning books. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a different book, 50 different books from 50 different states that have all won an award um, in the last couple of years. And what I'm going to try to do is read you the book, but also tell you a little bit about the state and an elementary, try to make connections with an elementary school in that state so we can learn a little bit about not only the book, but also about different schools, elementary schools in different states. Today, I have the uh, privilege of interviewing Craig Bugby. He is the principal at Horace Mann Elementary School in Beverly Hills, California. Uh, all the way out. Actually, it is 2,234 miles from Kennedy Elementary School. That's how long it would take you about a day, almost two days, uh, a straight drive and almost 32 hours of driving um, from Winder to, um, to get there if you were going to drive in a car. And I'm going to ask him some questions, let him share some things about it, and then we'll read the book, one of the California winning books. It's called Drawn Together by Min Lee. Uh, illustrated by Dan Santat, uh, so I'll read that as well. So now I'm going to bring you some of the uh, some of the things that I asked him, and let you share a little bit about his school, Horace Mann Elementary School. What is your name and the name of your school? Hi, Bugby. Our school is Horace Mann Elementary School in Beverly Hills, California. It's everything you would think it would be. I've been the principal here for three years. Interesting. What is your school mascot? We are the Horace Mann Huskies. I'm... What is the coolest thing on your campus? Um, I would say the coolest thing on our campus, our building was rebuilt from the ground up, I believe it was six years before I came here. I've been here so 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Our building is something I have never seen in a public school. Really? Because all of the Beverly Hills schools are historical monuments. Me. So when they rebuild, it's not a matter of building a new school. You've got to maintain the original facades. Wow. And rebuild from the inside, hmm. which you can imagine cost-wise is insane. Ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Um, the other cool part about our school, if you ever, you might want to do this. Our school color is purple. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have a purple field. I was going to ask you about it. I've seen it. I was going to say, is that, a is that a purple AstroTurf field? It absolutely is. It is. What specials does your school have? Art, science, science lab. Nice. Uh, maker space, music, PE. PE, art, maker space, music, science lab, five of them. Cool. All right. What is the best meal served at your lunch? I think the kids would go with the pizza. Pizza, yeah. Yeah, we have an orange chicken, which sounded great. No. Yeah. No. What is the coolest thing to do near your Question, school? City and state. Yeah. You know Rodeo Drive. I've heard of it, yes. Yes, that's right there <laughs> nice yeah i can walk to rodeo drive from our school i mean wow we're 15 minutes from venice beach santa monica beach yeah zuma beach is 30 to depending on traffic 30 to 90 minutes <laughs> away yeah um we're la proper hollywood boulevard is a short drive from here nice um Griffith Observatory, the Hollywood sign, right. Universal Studios, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, Magic Mountain, all of those. Um, all of the beaches of Southern California. I grew up in Huntington Beach. Okay. So that's 35 miles south of here. So then you get into Orange County, which is Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, wow. all of the beaches. Nice. What's the one thing you want to happen in the next school year? We'll focus on curriculum and instruction. Nice. Just that's, that's it. That's yeah. been my goal for two years. 
Yeah, and hopefully we can get there next year. I really enjoyed my interview and getting to know Mr. Bugby from Horace Mann Elementary School in Beverly Hills, California. I'm going to try to plan a trip out there to see him and and uh, check out that school, check out that purple field. Today's book is Drawn Together. It is written by Min Lee, and it's illustrated by Dan Santat. Uh, Dan Santat is actually a Caldecott winner for Beagle. I read that last summer. Um, for his pictures. This book is a picture book which it's got a lot of times where it's just pictures and there's no words in it. It actually has some Taiwanese in it as well. I'm not going to try to do the Taiwanese but I'll try to take you through some of the pictures as we go. Drawn Together, written by Min Lee. See the boys ringing the doorbell. Looks like Grandpa answers it. They bow, wave goodbye, and then the boy comes on in. Hands him some food, looks like some uh, ramen, and then right here, looks like hot dog and french fries. So what's new, Grandpa? And he says something in Taiwanese, and they just kind of stare at each other. Then they start watching TV, and Grandpa says something in Taiwanese, and then the boy asks, can, I can we watch something else? And they just kind of look at each other and continue watching the dragons. The boy pulls out his book bag. Grandpa's interested. He's drawn. Looks like he's drawn a superhero. And Grandpa gets excited. He walks away and comes back with his own sketchbook. Right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a world beyond words. And in a flash... So what do you think's happening? He's probably got his book. Yeah. We see each other for the first time. So this is what the boys draw on, and this is the sketches that Grandpa drew. All the things we could never say come pouring out. So even though they have a language barrier, they can read each other through or talk to each other through pictures. And we build a new world that even words can't describe. So now they're drawn together. But just when we're closer than ever, there's Grandpa. And there's the boy. That old distance comes roaring back. Mm, what do you think it is? There's Grandpa sketching. Boy, this time I'm not afraid because I know that together. Now, after years of searching for the right words, we find. Whoops. Yeah, now after years of words searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily speechless. And you can see mom's picking him up. He says hi to mom, grandpa. He holds up the sketchbooks. And I think it's cool that the boy takes the his sketch and leaves him with the boy leaves grandpa with his. Drawn together.